Day four had it all. Fold. You have King Jack. Now lay down. Is it possible he's lying to me right now about not having King Jack? But you don't know him, he's sick. It's a special kind of lie we're all gonna know in like 30 minutes. Characters. Oh, Brooklyn's in the house, guys. Champs. Contenders. On the heels of so much drama, the question everyone is asking, what will day five bring? Back from my blow up at the feature table. <laughs> Give me a chance, please. It's never just another day at the World Series of Poker main event. This is day five when contenders separate themselves from the pack. Hi everyone, Lon McCarron along with my broadcast partner, Norman Chad. Last year's seventh place finisher at it again. Little known fact, Alejandro Lococo invited me to join him on a small battle rap tour. I declined politely, not wanting to steal the spotlight. He made last year's final table at the Rio. Can he do it here at Bally's Paris, Las Vegas? He's got a bigger stack here on day five than he did last year. And taking a look at Taylor von Kriegenberg, our day five chip leader. Look, it's better to have more chips than fewer chips. I get that. But tell me who the leader is with one player remaining. Capiche? Ah, sorry, buddy. No spoilers. Our leaderboard brought to you by Caesars Sportsbook. We are all Caesars. Von Kriegenberg, the only player above five million. Several within striking distance, including Shelby Wells, one of the females in the field. Now, not on that list, but certainly on everyone's watch list, defending champ Karai Aldebar, very much alive here on day five. This guy will bust you and say, I'm sorry, all in the same breath. Karai with almost 1.3 million. Let's see how many more I can survive. How many times were you at risk last year? Free flop? Oh, uh, yeah, all in. Yeah, free flop. Once. One day Only two. once? Where'd you end up? Uh, I won last year. How did you, really? <laughs> Where'd you end I thought he was trolling you. Nah, <laughs> he doesn't always travel fast. Gail Bowman might be one of the more recognizable names remaining, even though her best main event finish was 10 years Very ago. Very impressive. Now. My best main event uh, was 10 years ago now. <laughs> At the same table as Gail is Zilong Zhang, the most action-packed player in the field. He fascinates me. I am taking him home after the main event. He is must-see poker. And that's Ramon Culias, day five chip leader last year, and then he fell just short of the final table. So did thousands right. of others. Culias, 700,000 behind, and yeah, he makes the call all in. Culias has absorbed blow after blow here on day seven. And Culias drawing very slim. Kalias needs it ah. now, and he doesn't get it. That's that. Kalias bids farewell before collecting $380,000. Our day five field with 27 bracelet winners out there, two past champs under the gun. Chan Kuhn from Canada. 31-year-old restaurant owner, part-time Montreal poker crusher. He's going to raise pocket nines over to Will Nunley now, 27. Played D1 rugby at the University of South Carolina, turned to poker after he was laid off from a sales job during COVID-19. Oh, won a World Series circuit event this year in Pennsylvania. Welcome to the fold, Keystone State. Nunley makes the call. Adam Goldstein gets out of the way. Oh, he looks suspicious, and all he's guilty of are pocket aces. It's not his fault. Three bet in progress. Kalias makes it 180,000. 8,663 entrance this year. 16th straight main event with 6,000 or more runners. And Kuhn might be the most unknown main event stud here. He has seven main event caches since 2012. No one has more. And that includes a 69th place in 2014 and a 49th in 2018. Now faced with a three bet from the 14th place finisher from last year. Look at this guy. He's Texas Dolly Jr. and we don't even know it. <laughs> the under the gun razor is gonna come along for 130 more. Nunley oh. bows out. So we're heads up, nines versus aces. Kulias won the Poker Stars Players Championship a few years back and they thought he was gonna be a Euro money maker. Seven, nine, Queen now a set for Kuhn. He's ready to crack the aces. 
Goon plays high stakes cash at the Playground Poker Club in Montreal. You know, I don't know how Kalias gets this deep. We, we never see him run good. And this is a pretty good flop for him. He, he also has the ace of diamonds. But check to him. He bets 185, 185. way behind. Do you know how much time we could save if people didn't re-peek at their cards? And this is probably a climate change issue, too. <laughs> now, Kuhn, with the hammer, just makes the call. Oh. Kalias still looks guilty of something. Two of spades on the turn. Yeah. Another check from Kuhn. And this time, Kalias checks back. <laughs> River card. Oh, wow. An ace for Kalias to steal this hand back. <sighs> Goodness. Uh, he rivers the stone cold nuts with that ace. Three of a kind, not usually the nuts. I'll tell you, this Kalias runs so good. No surprise, he runs so deep. All in. A snap call. Kalias will take it and double up. Wow! What a killer for Kuhn. And nobody has given him any love. Chan Kuhn left with just 195,000 chips. Kalias got very lucky to find that ace on the end. His bio board presented by GPI and the Hendon Mob. Studied sports science. Sports science is malarkey. Skip Bayless probably has a sports science PhD. Poor Coon. No, nobody would even look at him after after that beat. What a heartless game. Three chips in play, brought to you by Stormex, the easiest way to earn crypto. And that looks a lot like Coon's stack size after that last hand. Gail Bowman under the gun. Ace King off. She says that 10 years ago when she finished 10th in the main, she broke down in tears on the flight back to France, just releasing all the pressure she had felt from the run. And wow, Zhang folded 4-2 suited to a min raise? I hope he didn't subscribe to a coaching site overnight. Gale won about 10 women left in the main event right now. So how many main events you played? <laughs> First I one? I don't play tournaments. First one? We both did it? Yeah. Day five? Day five. Good job, man. Good three, job. Three first time corner over here. <laughs> three really? of us. You yeah, too? Yeah, first time. Oh my god. I think I've seen you play like uh, at Rivers or, or Philly Live. Bonding going on for the first time main event cashers. Around to Coon now. Jack nine. After he took that brutal beat, he is barely standing down to six bigs. He calls for 25k more. Here's the flop. And Kuhn says hello to my two friends out there. So Kuhn checks his two pair. Bowman with a gut shot. Puts him all in. Back to back. The last time Kuhn was 87% to win on the flop. This time 77%. And Kuhn trying to keep his seat in the main event against Gail Bowman. She's looking for a queen to make her straight. Kuhn looking for her. Oh, and there is the queen. Oh, my goodness. Kuhn on the chopping block. What was that? Uh, how come this poor fella has to star in his own horror film? He needs a boat on the river. The last card, the ace, and Kuhn is gone. Yeah, he, he, he was crushing on the flop, back-to-back yeah, -back hands, and he's gone. Where did this deck come from? Kuhn out, 36 grand for his seventh main event cash. Gail Bowman now inching her stack towards one million on day five. From our new broadcast booth, high above the, oh, I wish we were there. Welcome back to Bally's Paris on the Las Vegas Strip, the new home of the World Series of Poker. Zinni Eyewear brings you this tournament summary. 10 million bucks to first place. Average stack about 1.6 million. Right now, Dan Holpois is our chip leader. Norman, you got anything on this guy? Uh, looks about 34, maybe 35 years old. He's leading right now, you say? Yeah. He's not going to win it. You heard it here first. <laughs> right. Back to our main feature table. The mothership made the venture from the Rio here. Are you going to tell me you got Paris. queens? Are you going to tell me you got queens? Six, seven diamonds. 
that little ball that open under the draw, the same as I'm pretty sure you guys don't have ace. That's it. I think the most exciting moment of my poker tournament career is it's 2017, I guess. My friends say, hey, there is a daily tournament. Why don't you just give it a try? I say, it's out of my bankroll. He say, I'll just give you a, a one, one buy-in. I think that daily tournament is 1,300 something people interest. And I was the first place. It was so good. Um, that's my first title. I was so excited. I was crying. I was calling my father in China. I was telling him, hey, your son just won a tournament, like 40K. I'm so proud of myself. I'm like uh, so excited at that time. So after that one, I think uh, maybe I'm good at poker tournaments. Yes. If his dad saw how he played, he would have told Z Long to ship the 40K back to China and get your butt home ASAP. On Jang's right, Will Nunley, ace queen. I mean, if you if you did really like, uh, it's harder to block me than anybody else. In the whole like, tournament, right? That's what I think so. Because yeah. I'm calling station, so it's more like I'm doing. Pocket tense for the calling station. That's a three bet. These are the two biggest stacks at the table, so buyer they beware if entering a pot with them. I can't bluff you here, right? Uh, I don't know if Zhang is more dangerous with a hand or without a hand. Right? Barfield folded. Pretty good ace. I saw that, like, eight of diamonds. Eight of diamonds? Okay, I'm going to expose both cards, guys, just to figure it out. King of hearts, eight of diamonds in the mud. Next time, be careful, man. I was. Um, yeah, I know. I know you don't mean. I don't. I know you don't. <laughs> Not that crazy. <laughs> Melmay makes the call. 130 more. He's still trying to figure out a way out of bluffing. <laughs> All right, ace queen against the tenth. Oh my! A queen and a ten out there. It's an eight of diamond, king of heart, right? That's correct, though. Eight of diamonds, king of hearts. Eight of diamonds, king of hearts. I don't think they matter much, but what do I know? Oh, glad you asked. Next to nothing. Thanks for the update. Nunley checked. Top pair, top kicker. Now the set of tens. Yeah, he'll be a calling station in this hand if it comes around to it. He does bet out. 115,000. See, ace, queen. You, you flop top, top, and you're dead. I still think ace, queen makes pocket jacks look like quad kings. A call from Nunley. Trey clubs on the turn. Nunley checks again. Now drawing dead. And Nunley carefully watches Zhang put together the chips he will never see in his stack. Oh, healthy sizing. 435 from Zhang. Nunley can't give up ace queen here. That was a draw heavy flop and, and nothing got there. Look into Zhang's eyes. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. There is the call. A million five in the middle. We know there's nothing Nunley can catch to win this pot, but can he reduce the damage? Another check. Clean board for Ace Queen, and meanwhile, Zhang knows his set of tens, essentially the nuts here. After the river, I'm so relaxed. I'll be honest to you, I have no idea what you have. This hand, I have no idea what you have. It's so weird. King A, that means a lot of things, this hand. The king of heart means a lot of things, this hand. Oh, do you mind I'm talking? Or uh, you, I don't mind, you, okay, I checked. Yeah, if you mind, I'll just, I'll just quiet. This guy's a first-rate flim-flam man. I need some time, guys. Sorry. Take your time. He will shimmy sham you, horn swaggle you, and scallywag you. It's going to be an interesting hand. It's going to be a, a beautiful hand, I think. A beautiful hand. So it depends on what I'm going to do on the river. So you can have King Queen. Clock. You don't, you don't need to call clock. I'll, I'll decide like in 20, 20 seconds. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, I finished my decide. It's, um, it's 
Uh, he does construct his bets there. very carefully and arranges his wagering chips uniquely. Uh, here. You gotta love this guy. <laughs> wow. How much is that? What is that? I'm definitely gonna wanna count for that. I don't even know how much of that. <laughs> You didn't count that out? Well, no, it's Daniel just, it's just uh, that King of Hearts being exposed is a Yeah, right. That's, that's what I'm talking crazy. about. The car is, um, oh. I don't know. I know you, you don't mean to do that. I know you fall safely. He just saw it luckily, I think. Oh, I saw the Eight of Diamonds. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Both. He could have pulled out the It's not on you. It's not, totally not on you. It means nothing. Blocker schmocker. You Especially know, in your big Now car. you know what I have now that I'm thinking. Right now, I don't know. I, I still don't know what you have, but... I, I just be honest, it's not angle play. I, I'm not angle talking. I'm just. Heck, he sleeps at an angle! I don't know what you have, <laughs> like, exactly. I don't know what you have. Mm -hmm. I just turn the decide to you, back to you, you know what I mean? It's on your term. You decide to yeah, I know. do whatever you want. Can I have, like, two minutes? Is that cool? Sorry, I, it's a big part. No, different. Different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's different. I know, I know. It's okay to call a clock. It's okay. It's one, it's, what was it? 1.465. Pot size bet for about two thirds of Nunley's stack. Every time after I make a decision, I'm, I feel so relaxed because I know the thing gonna happen next. I can't control. I just do my do my part of the job. It's a pretty big bet, right? It is a pretty big bet. That's why I take that long. I think you you know. I think I I wasn't just talking and like uh, thinking nothing, wasting time. I was thinking, you know, the size. Ramon is done with his hearts. I have the ace of hearts. Oh, you do? Yeah. I'm not glad we have no heart. Then. No. Can't have less combo ace. I'm not gonna make this call. Good hand. Nice. Hard to call off that much. Good fold. Nice bluff, sir. You're in the man. Oh, I gotta see it, I guess. I think you got ace queen. I do have ace queen. Yeah, I put you on ace queen. You can't call with ace queen. That's easy. The most intriguing player we've seen in a long time. Z Long Jang maybe missed some value on the river, but no denying he has not missed much else at this main event. Back inside the Valley's Event Center. Before we get back to the action, a sampling of players' thoughts on what is most important to succeed at poker. Best life skill you need to be successful in poker. Just patience and be able to read people. Patience, 100% patience. Probably a calm, even keel. I think you have to get a good feel for people, kind of what they're thinking. Patience, yeah, you gotta, you gotta wait for your spots. Being at peace with yourself and being mentally like able to handle the swings, it can really mess with you. I guess the best life skill would be money management and playing within your means, something I had to learn and still am learning. The same thing that you need in, in life in general, the same life skill, which is self-discipline. A lot of people can be disciplined, a lot of people can self-discipline. They all make fair points, but I just think it's about knowing the right people. Good contacts always pay off. Heading into the field, look at Karim Rebay, a dangerous player with seven and a half million. And another check-in with Alejandro Lococo, Papo MC. Norman, you almost opened for him this past winter, right? I love Argentina, particularly in our winter, their summer, but it felt wrong to upstage him a lot. <laughs> another look at uh, Dan Copoise. Once the chip leader, now the former chip leader, but still with a good stack. I've confirmed he is 34, maybe 35 years old, but not a main event winner's last name. Sorry. <laughs> confirmed. Dan Smith with about half the average stack, but when he's got chips, he's Dan Smith. We both spent time at the University of Maryland, and that's where the similarities end. All right, let's get back to the bright lights and oversized poker table. Not only different to play on, but a challenge for the dealers to a lot of real estate out there on that table. Under the gun, Gail Bowman again with Ace King. 22 bigs for Gail. Lines two master degrees, had a baby in 2015, raised it up to 60,000. Chang folds again. I think it's two babies and she got a master's degree in 2015. Oh, I might have that wrong, sorry. Folded to Doc Barfield with pocket kings. What do you got now, huh? And a three bet. It doesn't matter. And that re-raise from the Mississippi pediatrician specialist should corner like Gale into an all-in. 
Yeah, it matters. It really matters, man. Mm -hmm. I see him every time. Day five, it's okay. So now you guys know I got some hands. Yeah. You can make hands too, yeah. Yeah. Nice later. Thanks. I don't Here know. they come. Gail yeah, all in. The quick call. Gail Bowman at risk, ace king against so cool. the Kings. Oh my God. Oh my God. You love it, right? So Barfield went to the University of Illinois. I did not go to the University of Illinois, so we don't even have that in common. <laughs> the last time Bowman had ace king, she made Broadway. Ooh. Broadway draw. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh la la. I see. Hard too. Uh, Jack of Hearts for fun. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, Jack of Hearts win people. Uh, Jack of Hearts win people. Are you ready to that? Sorry. Are you ready to sing that? Oh, a set oh. for Barfield. Still more oh, my else. God. <laughs> yeah, that's a good card for me. I was old enough for the Kings for a picture card. Right? They all chatter. Yeah. Bowman quietly hopes for a Jack. The River Six, though, okay, will end the main event for Gail Bowman. Barfield with a nice pickup, the Kings and the Chips. Nice hand, another cooler. What did you have? You had it? King Six Stars. I think I flat call, I got Chips. I flat call with no draw there. You would think I have here or something like that. The yeah, turn but it's you, like, so. The turn is perfect. Now I'm gonna look real smart. Gail will make her way to the payout cage, but first she'll stop and talk with our Kara Scott. Gail, you came in with kind of a tough position, that small-ish stack at a table that was pretty tough as well. Were you able to play the game that you wanted to? Yeah, I mean, I followed my strategy, my initial strategy. I know I couldn't open wide, so I just uh, played tight, and unfortunately it didn't work out. It worked out in the beginning, but uh, then I burst on a hand, which is just a setup, so I can do nothing. Thank you so much for talking to us, and I'm sure we'll see you here again. Will Nunley has the toughest seat at our feature table, but his background indicates he's a tough guy. I went to the University of South Carolina, and I, I played rugby there. I actually moved into a house sophomore year, and, and four of those guys that I were living with were playing rugby, so uh, they recruited me to come out there, and, and that's what I did those last three years of school. I just like the uh, the competition. Like that's another reason that I like playing poker. You know, it's just a it's a competitive outlet. So that's what I enjoyed about that. You know, being able to get exercise and compete with other players. In college, I had to choose between rugby and shuffleboard, and that was an easy choice. I hate contact. <laughs> Only with a big hand under the gun, pocket queens trying to rebuild his stack, a raise to sixty-five thousand. Perfect. Adam Goldstein, ace eight of hearts. Haven't seen him play a hand. Kalias now aces again? You know, if you get aces every half hour, you're going to win the main event, even if you are on the day five leaderboard. Yeah, he started our show with aces. Now, a three bet to 155 with the aces. Nunley still got a healthy stack, 70 bigs, because he folded that ace queen on the river to Zhang. He has Kalias out chipped. He makes the call for 90,000 more. All right, aces against queens. And here we go, and yikes, Norman, it's happening again, a set for Nunley. My goodness. Check to Kalias. He puts together 160,000. I don't know how Kalias goes this deep. Every time we see him, he's running so bad. But he did win that other hand with pocket aces and the opponent flopped a set. Hey, I'm not results oriented. I play and speak by feel. <laughs> Nunley now, top set. Quiet call. Turn card. Four of spades. Another check from Will. Kalias still real comfortable here with his aces. This time puts together 285. You know, I don't see how Nunley enjoyed rugby. He always looks like he's about to get hit. <laughs> Again, just a call, yes. Almost a million three in the middle. River card now. Another spade, another three. Nunley, afraid of nothing but Queen's full. He checks again. If they're not aces, it's a little late to find out now, huh? I wouldn't be shocked if Kalias went hidey-ho here. 
If he does, he'll be done. Please check back, sir. Hug. All in. Call. Ramon Culias eliminated. This table is so cool. And just like that. Isn't that an HBO series? And just like that, Culias is gone from the main event. 297th place. Good for nearly 41 grand. Done in by William Nunley and his queens. All right, let's go find one of the leaders in the field with Jeff Platt. Kieran Rebay, one of our chip leaders here out in the Bally's Event Center. What's it like to have such a stack on day five of the World Series of Poker main event? I would say that I need to be awakened because I, I still believe I'm sleeping, actually. It's a dream. And you're a little tired now. How, how do you fight through that? Because we have another couple levels left in the day. Um, actually, every day we have a lot of pressure. We feel more and more tired. Yeah. Most of people say it's a marathon, but I would say it's more an Ironman because you have to play multi disciplines when you when you when you play poker. It's like uh, you have to think, you have to calculate, you have to uh, judge the people. It's very hard. You have to talk, you have to listen. It's like it's a for me. It's like more triathlon than a marathon. Yeah, thank, thank you very much you. for Welcome. the time, Kieran. Appreciate See it. See you. Thank you guys. Ribe from Strasbourg, France, where Gerald Bowman was born. Correa Aldemir from Berlin, but he's been flying close to the sun the last year or so. Defending champ, Two double still check in the it's game. Four or five it's 2.7 million. That's about a million above the current chip average. And he sees Mike Sowers just re-raise all in. Sowers, a solid throw from North Carolina. And Aldemir calls with his pocket eights. Sowers, great online success, great live success. I would tell you good luck, but you already won the tournament once. <laughs> <laughs> Sowers has made six World Series final tables, including two runner-up finishes. Well, Karai has won a race like this before, and he's still good after the flop. I know this sounds ridiculous, but it just seems like Karai feels bad each time he sends someone home. Ooh, flush draw for Karai, takes some outs away from Sowers. So now Sowers needs a non-club ace or jack, or he is wamboozled. Trey of spades on the end, and Sowers cannot run the champ down. Aldemir doing what he does best. Mike, I think there's a group of players Aldemir has busted gathering near Wahlburgers. You want to get this? I won all of those so far. Of course. If yeah. you thought Karai used up his luck well, last year, think again. Over three million with 10 million in his sights. Moving day continues at the main event. Folks moving up, folks moving out. Lonnie Huey, one of the latest to seek the payout cage, eliminated in 252nd place. Daniela Rodriguez Tabar is out at 235. A nice run for the relative newcomer. I guess she left the dog in the room today. And one of the more well-known players in the field is now out. Ali Imshurevich eliminated in 229th. The poker world weeps. Over now to one of the outer tables, where 2020 might have been champion. Damien Salas is working over three million chips, running like Aldemir on day five. And he looks good. 3.7 million for Damien, chip average almost 2.3 million right now. Elsewhere, Dan Smith is hanging on at an outer table, still not back above one million, but hold on, Big Dan, another rush is coming your way. Hey, I've been holding on for a pretty long time too, Lon. I'm due, I know it, but the rush better hurry. <laughs> Take a look at the current payouts brought to you by Stormex, the easiest way to earn crypto. 46,800 to get knocked out right now. Zilon Chang. Has seen Dunley raise with pocket nines and with ace queen. There's just a call. Good call. Both yeah, Nunley. Good call. And Zhang okay. stacks above six million. Nunley and Zhang again. These table mates should get a duplex. All right. And there's the flop. All hearts with an ace. Very little can go wrong for Zhang from this point. Check to him. Well, Nunley with a pretty good hand here, but Zhang getting the better of it again. Uh, green and three reds. 40,000. Both of them very deep stacked. A call with pocket nines. Right. 
I've ignored Nunley's neckwear till now, Lon, <laughs> but I can't ignore it any longer. What is it? Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe it's a rugby thing. I, I really, you're right. I have no idea. Check, check. Do some hearts. Zhang makes his flush. Nunley makes his lesser flush. This is another card that will tantalize Nunley, but ultimately might cost him more chips. You know, it's so hard to know when Zhang is bluffing or value betting or he has the nuts. What a dangerous player. He's scary to watch, and we know the cards. He's got the second nuts right here. <laughs> even, even the way Zhang assembles and stacks his bet seems designed to tilt and irritate. He's like a top chef putting together a meal. That is 340000 if you're scoring at home. And if you're Nunley, what do you do? Mm -hmm. you know, the nines might have been good all the way, and now he's made a decent flush. Might have to pay. Might have to pay this one off. Oh, you want to talk? Okay. What do you think I have? I have no idea what you have here. Mike didn't say anything. Call. You have heart of Jack. He might be a genius. You know heart. Jack 970. Zilong Jang continuing to confound his stack on the rise up near seven and a half million. The best poker content on the internet. Your super high rollerball seven champion. Oh yeah. Wheels are coming off. That's the craziest hand I've ever seen. What was that fight? Go to get.pokerco.com slash YT24 for $20 off a new annual subscription. After the river, I'm still relaxed. I'll be honest to you, I have no idea what you have. Oh, do you mind I'm talking? Clock. It's a feature table, just give me some time. I don't even know how much of that. Good hand. Nice. Nice bluff, sir. You're the man. Let's go down to Kara Scott right now, who has more on the main event's newest star. I spoke to the table chip leader on the break, and Jang told me that for his style of play, it is really, really important for him to set the right table image. So he's obviously in a lot of pots, and he's talking in a way that makes the other players at the table react to him like a wilder, looser player. Now, his image is great, he said, because it makes sure that he can get paid when he makes larger value bets, but it has another side. It can be a little bit difficult because he has to be constantly trying to gauge which level his opponents are thinking on and where they're reacting to his image versus the cards. That's why I just play stud and Razlon. I like to see most of the cards. Yeah, good idea. Nunley, back to work now. Ace, king off, and a raise to 90,000. Ace, jack for Zlong. They both have big hands again. Looks like another three bet in progress. There it is, 285. These guys can't get away from each other. Well, Nunley is due to get the better of Zhang, is he not? Yeah, I would think so. Meanwhile, who else would dare jump in the pool with these guys? But let me tell you, it, it wears on you if you're Nunley. Sure, he's got a, a big stack, but the guy to his immediate left keeps pounding and holding over him. Nunley, obviously with a better ace. It looks like the price of poker is going up. Wow. Seven hundred ten thousand now. Nunley strikes back. Here's the thing: Zhang facing a four bet. That generally feels like aces, kings, queens, maybe ace king. But you might four bet lighter against Zhang if you think he's posturing. Zhang knows that, so he might not retreat with ace jack offsuit, which doesn't seem too strong in this spot. Will doesn't seem to like what he's seeing, and here is a five bet to a million eight. Yeah, there it is. Zilong doesn't retreat, he recharges. And what can Nunley be thinking? And how do you 
beat a madman who five bets ace jack offsuit. How do you balance madness? Wow. Let me see it. Let me see it. Don't make me wait. Don't make me wait. You show me, I show you. Ace king. I know you got ace king. I got ace jack. If I bet me back, I fall to you. The thing is, you can't fight bet me back. Of course, that guy Queen's King is ace or whatever. L look at him. He's shell shocked. Nunley now has Zhang derangement syndrome. With my bet, Queen's folding, Ace King's folding. If you got better, you win one point. You got lower, I win the 700k. Easy. Wow. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Next door, checking on the defending champion with a limper in front of him. Aldemir picks up King Jack offsuit on the button. A raise to 150. A little more sedate table here. Owen. Now Timothy Little, short stack, shoving with pocket tens. 13 bigs. Little, a 60-year-old energy consultant from Hyattsville, Maryland, with two World Series circuit rings. Back to Aldemir now. Yeah, pretty easy call for Aldemir with his stack. Plus, he never loses these non-race races. Look at him. Eh, I got to do it. I know I got to. I don't want to do it, but I got to do it. I'm going to win it, but I don't want to do it. <laughs> There's the call. He does it. <laughs> you, you know, I think it would be good for the game if Karai lost one of these. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right, little at risk, but ahead right now. A little at risk and not ahead anymore. You know, it's not fair to play better and run better than everyone <laughs> else. There should be some type of Geneva Conventions of Poker against this. Deuce of hearts, Timothy Little still in troubled waters. Timeout. Oh. I have a timeout still to use. <laughs> 30 second timeout. Give it to him. I like it. A timeout could stop Karai's momentum. <laughs> He's getting ready to hit the river, but he does come up empty. Aldemir does it again. Little knocked out. Why doesn't Karai just keep a slab next to him so they can wheel out these bodies? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, 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 you didn't know what that meant, right? <laughs> you, were, you were confused about that. A timeout could not save Timothy Little. It's Karai Aldemir, folks. The defending champ can't lose a race. He now cracks the 3.5 million chip mark. The field continues to thin as we play down here on day five, outer table. Matija Dobrich finished 32nd last year, making another deep run this year. The 31-year-old Croatian pro is pumped up, hoping to add to his poker resume. Let's go, baby. Let's go indeed. Over 100 bigs. Hot hand. Seated nearby, Argentine rapper Alejandro Lococo. No sign that he wanted to tour with you, Norman, but there are signs he has the final table on his mind. Again, he's over 4 million. Yeah, he is no longer a battle rapper who plays poker. He is a poker player who battle raps. Back to the center ring. Zhang open min raise with the best hand. I got three callers. Nunley sitting this one out. It's a king high flop, but Zhang with a pocket queen stands tall. Jack Allen, pocket nines, checks. Robert, not Bob Welch, checks. Zhang now with the queens. Zilong would see bet here if he had seven deuce suited, so he's certainly going to continue with a real hand. <laughs> right. Pot is 360. His bet is 160. Now to Doc Barfield, who flopped middle pair. Middle pair. And into the fire swamp, Andrew Barfield goes. Fear not the rodents of unusual size. Fear Zilong Zhang. As you wish. Allen folds, Welch folds, heads up now to the turn. Middle pair for Barfield. Queens for Zhang. Zhang's still best here. Now a check. Barfield might like his tens in this spot. He's still going to play it cool. Deuce of clubs on the river. 
Here we go. The show begins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You have one or two? Uh, two. Thank you. That's got about his 100K a chips. A bet of 640. Oh, th that was a brief show, ending with a pot size bet. I'm going to snap call them right here if I were Barfield. I mean, what could he have? King good. King tough good. time, right? King good, right? I know it's tough time for you. I know that. <laughs> you're, good, you're good, man. You're good. I don't know if I can fold this one, though. It's a good bet, man. You know, I always make good bet. I know you do. When you I was really dropping, do. I make good bet. When I was a value betting, I make good bet. You're playing very good. You it's, a that? it's a compliment. Yeah, you see that five bet, he's jack off. Of course, I know I always not good over there. Sometimes 99% people fold. I put a test on you. You're a good player. You can fold queens or his king, I think. Dragon will into this did. hand. I'll pay him this time. Oh my god, I talk too much. No, you're good, man. You're good. I, I was valuable for the ace 10 and, uh, nice and the jacks. You check by the turn. If I lose the king, it's a king of heart. Like uh, top pair with flush draw. You slow play the top pair with flush draw. If you're calling, it's ace 10 or jacks. Talk to myself into it. I like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you do. <laughs> Look now at some of the notable stacks around the room. Not a leaderboard, Norman, brought to you by Caesars Sportsbook. We are all Caesars. Rebe surging, now a 10 million chip man. And Lon, I would pay a cover charge and two drink minimum to watch this guy play poker. He's fabulous. Zilong Chang is taking the World Series by storm. It's harder to block me than anybody else. His play confuses. Talking myself into it. I like that. His table talk distracts. I think he got ice cream. I do have ice cream. His style intrigues. Nice bluff, sir. You're in the man. And it's turned his stack into the one to watch late on day five. Next time, be careful, man. The main event is in full swing, and with Long Zhang in the mix, anything can happen. Oh. Do you mind I'm talking? Five of the 2022 World Series of Poker main event is in its final hours. Fewer than 200 players remain. Hi, everybody. Lon McCarron with my broadcast partner, Norman Chad. Poker pro Alex Keating just hitting the rail out in 192nd. The bearded one was 35th at the 2016 main event. Post-COVID, bro hugs are back. Great to see. I am a fan of the bro hug and try to give one whenever possible. <coughs> Angela Jordison, one of the last female players remaining, busting in 175th. I think we call it a bro hug if she finds someone on the rail, but it's just a solo walk this time. High stakes poker pro Jake Schindler is gone in 173rd. I don't think bro hugs are in play for Jake the Snake, at least not this year. So 172 players remain from what was once a massive field of 8663, the second largest in history, 10 million bucks looms for the champ, and we seem close to the end, but there's a lot of play left. I know there's a lot of play left, at least in one fascinating figure. Yep, that man, 27-year-old Zilong Zhang on our featured table. What a compelling player he is. Aggressive, absorbing, aggravating, beguiling, exasperating, slippery, maddening, crafty, dangerous. Uh, that about covers it. He's in the big blind, under the gun, 41-year-old UK sales rep Nick Ramsey making a run at the big one, pocket nines and a raise to 115,000. And another recreational player, Andrew Doc Barfield, Mississippi physician with aces. I've been staring at him for two days and I finally figured it out. Andrew Barfield is Tom Hanks as Forrest Gump. Oh, you're right. His nickname is Doc. He's a physician in Mississippi. With a million five chips, half the average right now. There's the three bet to 270,000. Two percent of the starting field remains, and here side by side, two recreational players having a ball at the main event. Now Nunley with Queens. Oh my, William Nunley. No lavender. No lavender, right? Two stacks of green. Nunley keeps finding himself with big hands in bad spots. Conchahawk in Pennsylvania. Starts with five and a half million. A four bet to 650. And now Zhang with four tray, and even he can't play that. Ramsey 
doesn't like it anymore, I gotta believe. Nice fall. Barfield likes it. He started this hand with just 30 bigs. Double up time. Mama always said there's an awful lot you can tell about a person by their shoes. Uh, can't see his shoes. All in. We raised all in. Yep. There's the shove. There's the call. It boils down to aces Queens. versus queens. Queens with a bigger stack. Barfield at risk. Nunley in for about 30% of his stack. What? Call the two queens. Barfield, Air Force vet, wife, and four kids. Well, I know he's a doctor with four kids, but how many phones does Wait, Barfield need? I'm videoing it. Hope that's allowed. Oh, we've got a better camera angle from here, Doc, and we'll send you a copy. <laughs> At risk, but with aces. Here's the flop. All oh, clubs. <laughs> Jeez. I have clubs. He has clubs. Did I say I had clubs? Y you said you had clubs. If it's a club on the turn, make it the ace. That's fair. That's, That's fair. not fair at all. But you <laughs> said it, though. You <laughs> said it, though. <laughs> oh, it's a club on the turn, Four but clubs. not the ace. Four clubs. Four clubs. Jeez. Four clubs. That's Doc's only hope Four to chop. Clubs. One time. Uh, gross one. Uh, eight of hearts on the river. Aces cracked. Barfield gone. That one hurt. I did say it. That's all I had. That's all I had was clubs. Nice aim, man. Andrew Barfield is way too nice to be playing poker. Good luck, fellas. 1.5 million new troops into Nunley's stack. Okay, man. Sorry about that. It's brutal. Nunley, a pleasant fellow, too. Fun week worth 54 grand for Barfield. Well, it kind of felt like the only way I could win that hand was clubs. Actually, if you could have hit a queen, you would have won. I don't think he would have hit an ace. <laughs> <laughs> he would have hit an ace if I did. Okay, a straight. Take a look at the chips and play brought to you by Stormex, the easiest way to earn crypto, the biggest chip and play. 100K right now, the man who won all the chips last year is still competing for a repeat win. Karai Aldemir, though, got a chance to compete in a different way during the off-season. So I started learning Spanish like a year ago, a little bit, and I've always wanted to go to South America. And actually before the main event, me and some friends already planned on, on going. So we spent one month in Argentina and one month in Colombia. Yeah, some, some friends of us organized like a, something like an Olympics. We, we, we chose, I think, 10 different disciplines of, of sports that we voted on and within a week we we competed against each other like 14 of us we we did i don't know tennis uh, soccer but also chess and swimming running all of those and had like medals for 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 each of those i won bowling and i won chess and to the others i was kind of all right so in the overall ranking i got i got second behind behind my friend johnny gee swimming running bowling chess he's a modern day jim Thorpe. Karai on the button with ace jack of clubs facing a min raise to 100,000 from a similar below average Ball. stack. Karai just calls now in the small blind. Matt Ezrol, a middle school teacher from Virginia. Small stack, big pair. Impressive poker winnings for a teacher. 600K with queens. And here they all come. They're all in. Almost a million two. Big blind, Robert Reed New York, falls. no good. Look at me sideways, your eyes kind of. He's got queens, he's up to some good. Hmm. Basim and Sear, the original Razor, folds. Aldemir, ace jack suited. There is the call to put Ezreal at risk. Maybe Aldemir thought Ezreal was up to no good. This is for almost half of the champ's stack with ace jack, but who am I to argue with the poker chess bowling extraordinaire? <laughs> exactly. All right, so Ezra looking for the double up to keep his seat here in the main event, going against the guy who holds the title right now. He's bound to lose one of these, no? Yeah, we guess. Rainbow, no clubs. Queen's still good. Man, these look like two board combatants. Turn card. Oh, and boom, Aldemir gets the ace. Who couldn't see that coming? Uh, and Ezra knows he messed with the wrong man. He sure did. Ezreal not drawing dead. He can still hit a queen. The river card. Another ace. And that'll do it. Yeah, why not? Two nails in the coffin are better than one. Ezreal feeling the pain so many others right. have felt at the hands of Karai. 
Aldemir. Yeah, the uh, Aldemir Busteriza are now gathering at Johnny Rockets in the food court, if you're interested, Matthew. It seems like Karai Aldemir can do just about anything. Karai Aldemir had an $8 million smile last year. Is that now looking like a $10 million smile? The champ over $4 million, finding ways to win pots. 168 players left in the game right now. Tournament summary brought to you by Zenny Eyewear. Eyewear for everyone. Average stack, $3 million plus. The last two champs still with chips. Now let's not forget Damian Sal is trying to make history here, too. He won the hybrid main event two years ago. That old buddy of Zilong Jang's, Dan Smith, back together. Short stack right now, Dan is, with 10 big blinds, but he knows how to maneuver those chips. Back on day four, he and Jang had a lot of fun. It is a good table. No, really, I Before he came here, I love this table. I ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> you told him I got King Jack? You got my best friend, man. <laughs> Are you nervous right now? Are you nervous right now? <laughs> I'm not going to look, and you, you tell me if I should. Cover your eyes. Cover it. I'll tell you. All right, tell me. Yeah, Go I'll for tell it. You. Oh, my. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> Jang in middle position, 8-6 suited, has seen Michael Pickett make a min-raise to 120,000. What Zhang has not seen are the two kings Pickett is holding. Yeah, Pickett's got a hand, Zhang's got a foot. Pickett has a law degree from UT Austin, but he's a full-time poker player. Zhang, originally from China, came to the United States in his late teens. He's going to make the call, no surprise there. There's Damien Salas, 2020 champ. Dan Smith, all hat, no hand. And Pickett now will have to navigate Zilong Zhang. Yeah, and it's 8 6. Yeah, it's the main event. Heads up to the flop. All right, here's the flop. Oh, an 8, and another 8 trips for Zhang. Pickett not loving that flop. Well, you get a premium hand like. Kings, then an ace flops yeah. and the board pairs. It makes you want to retire from poker. <laughs> Pickett has checked to Zhang. And I'm not sure if Pickett's being cautious or giving Zhang some rope. Now Zhang weighing options, waiting for a sign, listening to an inner voice he claims he hears. Well, Zhang glancing at his prey. Ooh, your favorite bet, Norman, quarter pot. Yeah, 85K into 390. That bet smells like, like weak old Mahi Mahi. <laughs> Pickett starting the hand with 2.6 million. Zhang with almost 6 million. Can't fold yet, even though we know he's drawing very thin. Thank you. Deuce of clubs on the turn. Check. Another check to Zhang. Pickett now playing defense against an undefensible freak of nature. <laughs> now, how do you figure out the jigsaw puzzle that is Zilong Zhang? He's fun to watch just putting together a bet. Sizing up here now, 265,000. Yeah, if I'm Pickett, I'm thinking. Zhang either has a monster or he has monster mush. Zhang knows that Pickett's interested at least here. And there's another call. River card. Ace of clubs. Not the card Zhang wanted to see, but we know his eight's full or good. Well, if Pickett was worried about Zhang holding an ace, this makes it less likely he has one. Third check now for Pickett. Zhang could do whatever he wants now. Well, when Zilong puts his bets together, it feels like he's playing Jenga. <laughs> wow, ratchets up the heat. Full pot and a little VAT as everyone wondering what he's up to. This is getting serious for Pickett. Uh, the guy's got a mechanical engineering degree and a law degree, but he does not have a degree in Zilong Zhang. 
Is this the moment where Pickett says, I got him? He thinks so. But nope. Shang drops Jaws again, raking in a big pot. Pickett loses about 60% of his stack, and we see another side of Zhang's mastery, a no-talk hand start to finish. Always keeping everybody off balance. As mentioned, Dan Smith now at this table. He came into the main event riding a high, winning his first bracelet of his career. And earlier, he won a big three-way all-in pot on day four, giving him a big stack. Now we had three pocket pairs. Smith with the best of it against Zhang and Ali Amshirovic. He flopped a set of tens, tripled up. Oh my God. And what suddenly Dan video? Smith had 167 big blinds. Oh, I got up and cut out. Like. What a moment for Dan. That table then moved to center court where the two played a memorable pot holding the same hand. Fold. Fold. And King Jack. You have King Jack. Bad lay down. Okay. <laughs> now there you see Dan's GPI, the Henna Mob bio board. Yeah, Jersey Boy can rock that hat. Whose big blind is it? It's your buddies. Is he targeting Z-Law? All in, 620. Oh, wow. All Just in. 10 bigs. All right, any takers for Dan Smith? You want all his chips, or can you it's double like, him up? Oh, it's more than more than a million. Fold it to the big blind. How much of that? Six twenty. Eight deuce. You see, if it's eight, eight bigs for me, it's easy. He's got eight deuce, but he's telling us he'd call instantly for just eight bigs. It's ten bigs, so he's got to mull it over. <laughs> there is the call, and why not? This is ugly. What a way to lose the main event. Nice play with y'all. <laughs> Just made the call. I need a fade, do say. <laughs> King, queen. It was for only 10% sure of me. Jang's massive stack, but it's eight deuce. And, and he's he still got a 32% chance oh to bust Smith. Dan's got the saddlebag on. Dan Smith doesn't know what to do with himself. All right. Well, what a way to lose. <clears throat> Watch and wait. If I bust you out his hand, sorry, he should do that. It's either you double up, I fold his hand, or he busts you out. Never. The universe. Never you know what I mean? All right, here we go. King Queen against eight dupes. And here's the flop. An eight in the window as Zhang turns the tables. This is so ugly. I would take a queen. Thoughts and prayers to Dan Smith. Uh, uh, my goodness. Jang does it again. Turn card now. Oh, and Smith rebounds. Uh, is there such a thing as poker justice? <laughs> Dan's still not standing easily. <laughs> River card, a yeah! harmless six, and there's the double up. <sighs> Dan Smith survives his tormentor. One of the oddest calls we've seen in a while, Norman. Easy payoff for Zhang. Took more work than expected, but Dan Smith secures his double up and keeps his seat at the Thank table. You. What a way to lose the main event. Nice play with you. If I bust you out his hand, sorry. Yeah! A beautiful sight, the Las Vegas Strip, the first year of the World Series of Poker being held at Bally's in Paris in Las Vegas. John Jawanda about to make his way on to that strip, busting out at 168th place. Hasn't played much poker lately, but hey, he's still got it. Two women remain, Shelby Wells and that woman, Effie Litsu from New York, stacked at 6.6 .6 million. She's a banking executive in real life, making perhaps a once-in-a-lifetime run at Main Event Glory. Over Table C, everyone waiting on Karim Ribe in Seat 9 and Alejandro Lococo in Seat 5. 17 minutes ago, the flop came out. It went check-check, a king on the turn, a bet, and five raises later, Lococo all in, Ribe in the tank.
Well, I'm glad it's not Lococo's action because he apparently has fallen asleep. <laughs> he should be worn out. Just your garden variety six bet bluff shove from Popo MC on day five of the main event. Ace Jack for Popo MC. And Norman, it looks like this is going to take a little while at Table C. So uh, we're going to take a little break, step away, and let Alejandro tell us about his life balance. I think that I'm doing a, a good show mixing my career of professional rapper and playing poker around the world, I think is the love for what you do. I love freestyle. I love poker. So when you love something, you do with your head. You do with your blood. You are not thinking in win. You are thinking in be yourself. At some point, I'd imagine someone might call the clock on Rebay, and they also should call an alarm clock for Pop OMC. <laughs> what a pot! What an attempted coup by Lococo with no pair on the turn. Half the players' batteries in their phones are running dead <laughs> from surfing while they're waiting. Look at those stacks of chips. And there is a fold finally from Rebay. It's over. Alejandro. <laughs> oh, he shows the bluff. He is stoked. Oh, my God. Finished seventh last year, making his presence felt again now. Welcome to Argentina, man. Wow. Oh, man. Whoa, world. That's a crazy. The best poker content on the internet. Your super high Roller Bowl 7 champion. Oh yeah! Wheels are coming off. That's the craziest hand I've ever seen. What was that fight? Go to get.pokerco.com slash YT24 for $20 off a new annual subscription. Storylines weaving through the poker tables, including the runs of the 2020 and 21 champs, Damian Salas and Karai Aldemir. We're down to 141 players. Now five-time race winner Brian Rass still with chips. He's made 15 World Series final tables, but this is only the second time he's cashed in the big one. And how about Kenny Tran, the artist formerly known as Sick Call Kenny? He's almost got five million. No one is more smooth at the table than Kenny. I'd give him a bro hug anytime. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the Shark Tank now. That is our featured table. Michael Pickett has kings again. He's going to try to get some of the chips back. He lost to Zilong Zhang the last time he held kings. And now to Zhang. And we saw him call 10 bigs with eight deuce. Gotta believe he's gonna call 10 bigs here with ace queen. There is the call. Big blind, George Turner folds, and here we oh. go with the kings again. Fuck the king. We chopped it. <laughs> you don't believe me? <laughs> I think I'm the guy who take care of all the short stacks. So you, doesn't matter if I hit or not. You, flip. I think this one you're here, right? Yeah. Pick it with Kings again versus Zhang. I can't feel bad because when I against you, I'm running pretty good. Yeah. I've lost with Kings twice. Yeah, you? I know, I know. You must got Queens or Queens you over there. Third time's the charm. This one, I mean, I have to do that. So let's see what Dita do. Here we go. Oh, and Pickett gets Zhanged right off the bat. This is unspeakable. You call him Diamonds? Pick it looking for help. Now. Diamonds. You calling diamonds? You calling syrup diamonds? How about you? You calling king? I think five diamonds. Let's do it. You don't call king, you call five diamonds? It's not greedy. Not a king, not a diamond. Well, Pickett is tired of staring at just two kings. He needs a third king to stick around. Not a king! Oh. A picture card just scared me. Pick it out and a hundred. It's just a set up. Forty first. Uh, playing, uh, first main event deuce. cash. Kings, <laughs> kings, <laughs> no good. Yeah, Pickett's gonna see kings in his sleep, and of course, Zhang in his nightmares for a long time. Ten big, yes. 
You can get kings. Ace queen. I don't know what you got. Deuce. I know it's Doesn't really matter. Yeah. Zhang is calling even if you have kings twice. And with how he's running, nobody's safe. Run is pretty good. Back to the tables in a moment, but first a look at some notable stacks from around the room brought to you by Caesars Sportsbook. We are all Caesars. Alejandro Lococo, the battle rapper, over 10 million. Dan Smith, courtesy of Zhang, over 2.3 million. Let's go down to Kara Scott. I spoke to Karim Ribe on the break about his big hand against Lococo, where he had to fold to Lococo's six bet shove, and he told me that yes, of course, he was bluffing there. He had 4-5, and he probably would have called if there hadn't been a flush draw. He said he's not worried about having lost the chips. He's proved he can get them back, and so he will. And then as we were finishing, he told me that in his opinion, Lococo as a player is naive. And he was not that impressed, really, with his reactions after the hand. Ribe said he had 5-4. I got a hard time believing that. Yeah, you're right. That is a tough one to swallow. But he's not shy about letting you know how he feels. It's just who he is. I'm coming from a quite poor family and uh, in my country uh, the poor cannot do business studies or law studies and stuff like this. So in most of the time where, when you have like a poor uh, kid that can be successful, he tries to go into science and that's exactly what I did. My main focus in life is to change the world, creating new technologies. His advice to anyone playing the main event, bet, bet, bet. Right now, he's got Jax looking to knock out Taylor von Kriegenberg and his pocket eights Taylor, the overall chip leader, to start the day. Jax still good for Ribe? Yeah, so the day five chip leader is about to bust. I knew uh, that at the start of day five. Von Kriegenberg right there in the black hat to Ribe's right. Turn card. Oh, a little more interesting for Von Kriegenberg. Well, an eight now no good for Von Kriegenberg. That would give Rebe a straight. Taylor's going to need one of Rebe's jacks now to make his own straight to stick around. River card is the king of spades. The jacks hold up. Taylor Von Kriegenberg knocked out of the main event after being the chip leader start of day. Taylor out in 137th place. Nice run, wins almost 63 grand. And a nice hug from Argentina. Where did Ribe's rail come from? Are there hourly non-stops from Dubai to Las Vegas? So a nice pickup for Ribe. And the end of the road for Taylor Von Kriegenberg. Well, just a note, back in 2017, Damian Salas was the day five chip leader. He ended up seventh. I know day five leaderboards aren't your thing, Norman, but we should mention the current chip leader is James Hobbs with 13 and a half million. Uh, I'm not even gonna look at him, Lon. He might bust by the time I'm at Roma Deli tonight stealing some cheese. Hobbs has a lot of chips to count right there, but someone has been stacked. It's that man, Brian Rast, the five-time bracelet winner. So Rast and John Juwanda, the most decorated players left in the field, both gone, 10 bracelets between them. All right, Norman, not a leaderboard, but a payout board brought to you by Stormex, the easiest way to earn crypto. 62,500 right now will likely be the payout for the rest of day five. Silong Zhang, neck and neck, with Will Nunley for the chip lead at this feature table, both over 7 million. Zhang in middle position, queen four of clubs, and a raise to 120,000. What's the bet? Thank you. I saw you should talk to him and say, hey, it's not your turn. I let him know. I thought, I thought you said something different, and I was clarifying. He knows. He knows I'm joking around. He, he Smith and Zhang again. Uh, these two have become, you know, Carolina Duke, Red Sox, Yankees, Lakers, Celtics. Dan Smith of the big blind, Ace Deuce. He will defend, and they will dance again. All right, here's the flop. And there's an ace in the window, and that puts an iron-like grip on the hand for Dan. I really like this flop last hand. But he'll probably still bet it this hand. Smith letting Zhang dig his own hole. 85,000 with nothing. Zhang north of 100 bigs. Smith started his hand south of 30. Let's 
Smith playing Zhang like a puppet here. Just makes the call. Zhang is no one's puppet. Yeah, good point. Ooh, another ace on the turn. Trips for Smith now. Can he get Zhang to put more chips into the pot? Well, Zhang's equity only dropped from 3% to 0% with that <laughs> uh, turn card, so it could be worse. Zhang, almost half pot now. Yep. He will represent the ace that he does not have, which is good news for Dan Smith. And I assume Smith just feigning concern here, though there's always some concern playing Zhang. There's the call. Almost a million in the middle. Ah, the queen on the end. That might get more chips into the pot as it pairs up Zhang. I think Zhang might be content to now just check. Uh, forget it, forget it. Who am I kidding? <laughs> check to him. Okay, I thought he might just be willing to get the showdown since he paired his queen, but his mind operates in a different fashion. You see Dan is 1.2 million behind, and that would put Smith all in. Of course he puts Smith all in. Got anything to say? What? Do you have anything to say? I have anything to say? You like to talk a lot. You like to talk to me? Okay. You what do you think I have? What I think you have? Yeah. Uh, can I just give me 10 seconds to think what, what can I answer to you? What do I think you have? I don't think I can see the cars. You know. I just see the draws. Can I see that? I can see the cars, right? I can see, can I see the draws? Like flush draw straight, can I see that? I, I don't see the cars, like numbers, I won't say it. Can I? He's asking if he's allowed to talk about the hand. Call. <laughs> Smith calls Call. and will double up. And Norman, even with trip aces, Dan can't feel that comfortable throughout that hand. Well, you're just never comfortable against this 27-year-old. Who are you on nine? I don't want to check it back. I don't want to miss the value there. That double up's got to feel real good for Dan Smith. And the party's so huge. This round goes to the New Jersey native. Dan Smith rebuilding his stack late on day five. Just before the break, a 1.2 million chip bet on the river found its way into Dan Smith's stack, boosting the top pro into main event contention. Zilong Jang took the hit, and now these two are back at it. Jang raised under the gun to 175,000 with king queen of diamonds. Folded to Dan Smith in middle position with a six of diamonds, two healthy stacks, and fertile oh. poker minds. Here they go again. Uh, it's like Hamilton and Burr, the, the Hatfields and McCoys, Kanye and <laughs> anyone. Smith makes the call with his suited Heads ace. Up. You play with five? Not Good. quite. Smith started this hand with 60 bigs. Middle pair for Smith to cement his lead. No diamonds on that board. You know, Law, if they played with a four-color deck, it would be easier for me to see that there's no diamonds on that board. I kind of like the four-color deck now. I hate it, but it's a good idea. Check. No continuation bet, but then nothing about Z-Long is standard. Check. Check back. Jack of diamonds, Zhang open-ended. Smith still with the best hand. Zhang's lot improves there. I wonder if Smith is exhausted by now, just from the, the metagame vis-a-vis Zilong. Dan's been around the block. He knows how to deal with these guys. Zhang will bet. About yeah. half pot. Two, three, five. Zhang with a stop and go delayed C bet. We don't even attempt to teach that at the Norman Chad School of Poker. It's like throwing too many sliders in baseball. It can really screw up your betting arm. Paul. With the best hand, Dan Smith makes the call. They will see a river card. The river is an ace. Oh, what a card. Ace is up for Smith, but it's Broadway for Z Longjang. What a nasty run out. 
Smith ahead on the flop, ahead on the turn, makes aces up on the river, and he's about to get tormented again by his tormentor if he bets here. Chang checked it this time. Dan could get hurt here. And with aces up, I got to believe he's going to look for a little value. Yeah, 600,000. Kind of a side eye look to Zilong. Dan Smith praying for a call, but he's not going to get a call. But here it comes. Yeah, big chips in play. Wow, he's got the 100Ks out, the 25Ks out. It's a common. <laughs> Raised to 2.25. Okay. Head and hand now. You know, Dan Smith could have been a chess champion. He had a chess scholarship to the University of Maryland. He didn't need this. You can never get check raised in chess. He could be playing pickleball right now. Call. Call. You got his check right? <laughs> At this point, I think I can convince Dan Smith to turn to a career in checkers. Z Long Chang keeps the train a moving. And I think Zilong can't even believe his luck. He caught so fast. He caught that fast, made me think I'm missing out of there. Someone, like, it's almost like 4x. I think that's the max I can get. Then he caught that fast, made me think like, uh, I bet you're small there. Smith cut down again, and then he's got to hear the post mortem designed to rub it in. It's brutal. Zhang up to nine and a half million. A lot of it at the expense of one of the game's best, Dan Smith, who loses more than half his stack to his arch nemesis. Welcome back to the Zilong Zhang show at the main event. We get right back to the action. He's in the big blind with 10 9 off suit. The man on his left, George Turner, made an under the gun raise to 160 with ace queen. Turner, 31 year old British pro. This is his first main event cash. Call 160. Jang makes the call from the big blind. Heads up. With the flop. Queen Deuce Jack. Top pair for Turner. Jang open ended. Check. A check to Turner. Turner likes to golf. When you're up against Zhang, it's like you're hitting out of a sand trap all day. He's got some work to do with his stack. Below sure. average right now. He checks back. No C bet? Nine of clubs. Zhang pairs up, but he's still behind. There's the check again from Zilong. Wants another free card. The flop check from Turner with top pair, top kicker confounded me. A turn check would force me to reconsider life as we know it. Mm. Yeah, no free card on this street. Turner reaching. That is 275,000. All right, now we're back in the game, my man. Jang, pair of nines, up and down straight draw. He has certainly looked at worse on other boards. Oh my gosh. Oh, what is he doing? Here he comes. He's looking to Zhang Turner. And this is a check raise. Wow. Makes it 780. Yeah, who knows? Maybe Turner checked the flop to induce this check raise on the turn. And Zhang again turning the screws on a short stack. He is unrelenting. Turner has been witness to Zhang's antics for a while. Oh, Please, and he in. plays back at him. Ooh, Zhang doesn't seem to like that. No, scratch of the ear, a shift in the seat. Mm -hmm. I mean, even this is some serious change for ZZ. He's actually getting the right price to call here, but it's getting a bit expensive. 
Still, we have seen him call an all-in on the turn with a gut shot straight draw. Remember what he called with Jack High? Yeah. With four outs, a gut shot? <laughs> Sometimes I made good laydowns too, right? Yes, 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 yes. Is yes. he waving the white flag? Yes, yes, yes. Ah, uh, he is! Guys, this is a general note for the entire table. Like, this is like... A rare table. show of capitulation. I've played four hands. This is like the slowest table I've ever played. Like, I'm no. ever. <laughs> This is, I know there were a lot of big pots, like a lot of big pots. And you guys like, have a new dealer coming like, like, like 30 minutes, four hands. This is Good like luck. three, sorry, yeah. I mean, like, what's going on? Like, let's... <laughs> we help you make the day six. You're, I, I'm fine busting on day five if it's my time to go, bro. Okay. I don't mind. <laughs> I just want to play poker. Jang does okay. slow things and down. Yeah. A lot oh, yeah, is due to his table I talk. Have... I'll pay him this time. Oh my god, I talk too much. Talk myself into it. I like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you do. <laughs> what a way to live. It's either you double up, I pull this hand, or he busts you out. Nice hand. Thank you. Got anything to say? You like to talk to me. Okay. What do I think you have? Call. Oh. Nice hand. Call. Call. You got ace check, right? <laughs> Z-Long back in the mix, raising from early position with ace jack. Gabby, a short stack in the big blind with ace queen. I'm all in. 37 year old says all in. Gets a call. And a call. Sorry for Jack, man. Well, Zhang now trying to provide lift shits with the exit he asked for, or said he'd be okay with lift shits. An Israeli pro who won a 2021 online bracelet. Got a million in live tournament winnings. Looking to extend that a little bit with a double up here through Zhang. Lift shits used to play chess for a living. I'm telling you, Dan Smith should talk to him. Yeah, right. Waiting for his fate. All right, here's the flop. A six high flop, the ace queen and Liv Schitt still ahead. No jack yet. <laughs> Liv Schitt's safe for now. For now. Turn card. Oh, now four to a straight, but Liv Schitt's still ahead. Turn. Yeah. <laughs> Liv Schitt's just has to fade a jack. Of course, Zhang, at a minimum, thinking they're going to get a chop. Gabby going to get his double up. The river card, another four, and Gabby does go through Zhang for the double. Liv Schitz survives Woo! Zhang. <laughs> Dale. Vamos. Got to work on that celebration attack. Z Long's magic fading. Day five coming to an end. Players bagging and tagging. James Hobbs hanging on to his chip lead. One of the two women left in the field in second place right now, Effie Litsu. Alejandro Lococo in fourth place. Kara Scott right now with Zilong Jack. What a roller coaster of a day that was. It felt like you were involved in most of the pots and pretty much all of the conversations. How did it feel for you? Um, it's a very good day. I think I made uh, some very good hands, very good play over there. I'm, I'm so proud of some plays. Tell me, what do you think your chances are of making the final table, looking at it from this point? Final table, I think uh, it's, kind of, it's kind of hard. This game is so, so tired. I mean, I, I never, before this May, man, I never played day three tournaments before. Right now I'm playing, I mean, day six. Yeah. It's so tired. I mean, every day I, I can't sleep. Like I'm sleeping around like four to five hours. It's so it's sort of different games. Yeah, it's a really intense experience, and we're going to be seeing you here on day six. So go get as much sleep as you can. Thanks so much. Thank you. Zilong's not the fastest, but he is the most magnetic player. He's got nearly seven million heading into day six. With Zhang, I don't know if he's going to win this on day six, if that's possible, <laughs> or bust on day six. What a sight to behold. That's it for us tonight. For Norman Chat, Kara Scott, Jeff Platt, and our entire crew, I'm Lon McCarran. 
This has been a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports.